What I'm going to show you in the next few minutes is how to take a program that you run a lot and store it from your flash drive onto your Moray. This is one that I run a lot. It's a car, or in this case a truck, made for pegs and jokers. And you see I burn the laser on the surface of it. It connects to the trailer, which I also burn a lot of. So that's what we're going to save on the Moray. These two pegs and joker boards hook together and make a game board set. What I want to do, instead of loading a flash drive all the time, I want to keep that code where it says run g-code. I'm looking at the USB now. I want to move that from the USB into the internal storage. All right? And the first one is a copyright logo that I run all the time. The copyright logo is right here. And I want to put it here. And it says, are you sure you want to copy two c Wright 2021 logos? And I say copy. So that moves it to internal storage. I also want to do the one that is for two trailers. So I move over here. Open the file basically to store it internally and store it. And the other one is two trucks. So I do that one. Same thing, put it in the file. And it says, Are you sure you want to copy it? So I hit copy. And the last one is a test program that I use to make sure everything's lined up before I run it. So I do that one, move it to internal storage. And it says copy test two trucks and trailers, and I hit copy. Now if I look at internal storage, you'll see the files that I have stored there, and there's quite a few of them. Um, these are the latest. This one, two trucks, I'm going to delete that one. This one, two trailers, because I've replaced it with a new file name so it's a little easier to read. And that one's the new copyright. That's the test, and that's the Moray test. So those are the three files that I added. This one is two trucks in the trailer. So that's all you have to do to delete from internal storage and to save from a USB to internal storage. That saves you on startup. You don't have to bring your flash drive out. You can just redo it and, and run from there. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can't get to it shortly. So have a great day and have fun with your CNC and your laser.